Hey, all country, man. I'm back online. Uh, I am deadly when it comes to computers. Since I got out of the old folks' home two years ago, I've, I got an, a computer while I was in the old folks' home. I killed it. I bought another one. It was used. I killed it. Uh, done without a computer for a month or so. A prepper angel gave me another computer. I killed it! Brand new laptop. I put it underneath the uh, recliner over at Sir on the Hills and leaned forward and crunch it was gone. It's been fixed. Thank God I started a church and uh, they're one of the uh, son in law of the elder there, Danny uh, Hammond, that comes to get me. His son is a, is a IP tech. And I get, he's, he's fixing it for me. Ain't going to tell you what to pay, but I got a heck of a deal on it. It was a whole lot cheaper than the $275 that uh, uh, Acer wanted. So it should be back within a week or so, Lord willing. Uh, but I'm back online. I got me a Lenovo desktop with a 14 inch monitor and a DVD player and recorder and you know for CDs and DVDs I did not come with a webcam I had to go get me a Logitech uh, uh, 820 720 720 HD I don't know what the numbers are on it it's the cheaper one of the Logitechs it's about an inch tall and about two inches wide. Uh, I'm good to go on that. But what this video is about is what I do when God takes my toys away and tells me that it's time to go to work. I have made, y'all seen my sauerkraut before. And it's good, don't get me wrong. I think it's so good, I only got one quart left. Yes! people. Let me pick it up. That's a five-gallon can full of sauerkraut. It ain't full. It's about halfway full. But there's a good two and a half pounds of good old sauerkraut right here. Okay, here you are. That's good. What are you guys sitting in your front room? Well, I just got sauerkraut. That stays in here because I can check on it. If I put it in the kitchen, weird things happen. Like I don't check on it. And it gets really strong. But uh, that's been going about two weeks. Cheryl on the hill tried it out. She said she loved it. Now, her son, uh, ain't come up with a name for him yet. We're just going to call him uh, uh, Son on the Hill, I guess. I don't know. Uh, but uh, all those cores that I had from the cabbage and all the uh, uh, I got a deal on uh, shredded ca uh, carrots and uh, little old baby carrots and stuff like that I dehydrated a bunch of them still got a bunch in the freezer I got to do but uh, I had onions bell peppers Onions and bell peppers, uh, cabbage, peppers, dundee cut chili seeds, cucumbers, onions, peppers, dundee cut chili seeds, uh, bell peppers, onions, uh, don't know what all. But, this is my first attempt at fermented veggies other than uh, the sauerkraut and this is what I come up with that is fermented veggies in a one gallon jar it's got uh, all the above in it and it's got a sour taste to it you know like you would a sauerkraut 
Here's a chunk of cabbage. Mm. It's got the sour twang and the end is just a bite of chili. And this is good. Richard loves uh, Cheryl's on the hills. Sorry. I made this. This is the same stuff I had an extra quart left over. This, because it's a smaller jar, it uh, uh, permitted uh, longer first, faster, whatever you'll call it. And this has got a, this is actually smelling like kimchi. It's this whole one of them deals is, uh, am I not supposed to eat? Did I eat this or am I not, or did I eat it? Be honest with you, I don't know what kimchi dog is supposed to taste like. I put an extra garlic in here. This is garlic in big time. A big old slap in the face of chili. And the crunch of a uh, coleslaw. Tangy and spicy. I think it's good. Well, country man, do you have a recipe? Yeah. Throw it all in a daggum bucket. Mix you a quarter cup of salt in a gallon of water. Uh, first of all, you put salt in there on your uh, with your veggies and mix it all up, and I let that set, and then I pounded it down like I would uh, my sauerkraut, and then I added a little bit of water and, and salt on top of that. And it's the same principle as making sauerkraut. It is delicious. I love it. I try not to eat it any anytime I before I go to places. It will uh, solve all of the uh, fuel problems in America. Let's put it like that. Boy, is it good though. Uh, I got me a pot of beans in the fridge. Heat them up, put some of that on, some cornbread. Oh, man, you're talking good. Uh, if you're around the Canova, West Virginia area, uh, we have church tonight at the Church of Christ. We have a preacher coming in out of town, and uh, he's preaching Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And Sunday after church, we're having a big old get-together potluck. And I heard something about smothered steak. All I know is I'm going to be first in line. But, uh, God bless, country man is doing real good, and, uh, got some health issues, but I'll get over that, working on them. When time comes, I'll let you know. In the meantime, just keep me in your prayers. Alright, God bless, country man, now for now. If I can do it, anybody can.